All right, y'all. So I purchased the premium edition of Starfield uh, a few months back. And one of the things that you got along with that was this art book and soundtrack uh, in digital format. Now, I had no idea what this was going to look like or how it was going to be presented or anything until I pulled it up last night and was like, oh, this thing is a work of art. So we're going to be diving into the Starfield art book and soundtrack a little bit today. I, I will preface this by saying that this is a premium edition perk, and this is me giving a review of that thing and why I think that that thing, that that or digital edition is so cool. I am going to be showing off some of the images and of course we'll hear the soundtrack which you've heard before but I want to make it very clear that um, I'm not going to be showing all of the images. This is you know this was a perk of spending extra money to get the premium edition and I'm sure someone out there is going to like leak the whole thing in PDF format. Um, that's not me. I'm just here to talk about why I think it's really cool. We're going to look at some of the images. We're going to, we're going to go beyond that but uh, this is definitely one of the reasons I think that uh, collector's editions are so cool. I don't really do physical editions anymore for a lot of different reasons, but I do love collecting stuff like this. Um, and it's just a really cool experience to be able to have a little extra perk for, you know, obviously we got early access to for spending the hundred bucks, but, um, I think this is a really cool thing. And, and I didn't know what to expect, but the, the presentation on this is absolutely amazing in my mind. So as we load up, we get, you know, Starfield art book. Well, that sounds simple enough we get the logo um we can start to hear the music going on in the background um we get a loading screen just like we would in the game and then we get this thing where we say the art of starfield now i am someone who has always been fascinated by art i can't draw to save my life i have been a writer since i was a child that's my forte i'm good with the written word and i'm good as a public speaker engager you know so on and so forth um, but artwork is something where i always wished i would have applied myself when i was younger and learned how to draw because when i see artwork and illustrations and and things like great asset building um, I've dabbled a little bit in game dev so I've done some world building I've done some asset creation I've done some VFX um, you know I've done some stuff and I, I can make something work but I can't make something like this and so see when I when I see things like this and, and people like my wife who can draw I'm like man that's so cool and I really have appreciation for it so um, there's a few things they've done here, which I think are really, 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 really cool. So first and foremost, we have the soundtrack. So um, we can actually, um, somewhere in here, uh, down on the bottom left where my head is, I'm on the Xbox and there's the option to bring up a track list. Uh, but before we do, let's just read the foreword real quick. Um, and with this cool loading screen and a note from Todd Howard, it says, When we design our games, we always start with the world. What are the places? Who are the people? What tools do they use? What are the conflicts, the hopes? Having spent decades on both the Elder Scrolls and Fallout, we often had our previous work as reference to fall back on when needed. But Starfield was something entirely new, and not just one world, but thousands. We were starting from scratch in a genre that has so many landmark movies, shows, and books. Finding our own visual voice that spoke to the history of how the world of Starfield became what it is and how it operated was one of the most thrilling and challenging journeys of our careers. We did the first concept images in 2013 and they still hold up today. Images that filled us with the desire to explore and learn more. The game's concept art represents the work of a dozen artists. It took a development team of several hundred passionate producers, artists, designers, and programmers to bring it to life on screen or you're truly transported to another reality. The art team was led by the legendary Isvan Peli, who I've had the privilege of working with for over 20 years. His unique vision and attention to detail is unparalleled. We hope the game and the artwork represented here will fill you with the same dreams and wonder of exploration that we have. So it was a really cool note, and a shout out to Isvan, who has done incredible work over the years um, with them. And I would like to say that... Um, for me, this this digital book and the way it was presented, I love being able to just sit here. You know, I don't need a physical book these days. It's it's okay to have stuff like that too, but I like just sit I live on my computer, so it's very cool for me to be able to just sit here and bring it up on my monitor and, and look through it. But we've got the um, track list and I did not know how many songs would be here, but you could bring this up. There's I think seventy plus tracks. Um, for the soundtrack, which is pretty freaking amazing. Um, 79, actually. 
and they're all bangers, man. Especially if you've heard some of these in-game already, you can place it and go, oh, that's really, 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 really cool. Um, and while you're here, you know, in terms of how this works, you could just go to previous track or next track with the bumpers. So we're on to the next track now. Go steady, go home. So really cool stuff here. Um, and once we go back, we can see they've got a whole layout of things. Like there's a slideshow, there's a video tour, there's the worlds themselves, the characters themselves, the creatures of the game, the spaceships of the game, weapons, set dressing, and of course, illustrations. So there's a ton of stuff to dive into here. And like I said, I don't, I don't want to show off too much of this because, you know, it's, it's, it's a perk. But I think it's worth looking at a few things in here. And one of these I saw when I was going through the video tour last night. This is really cool stuff here. Like, this is stuff where I could easily see um, people doing creative um, splicing of these elements into videos long term. Um, but one of the things I wanted to see was because everyone was talking about how mechs were, where mechs confirmed. And there has been some mechs being confirmed in the storyline. But I want to go to the, I think it's, oh, you know what? It's not in the same order. Hold up. It's not in the same order that it was last night. So I'm not sure where it's at. But they've got a, um, a bunch of cool clips here of just like video clips um, of various elements throughout the game and they're really well done but there was one in particular I'm not gonna be able to find it probably because it's buried in here somewhere sure. because I know a lot of people have been nerding out over the mech history and the story of mechs and everything else and I can confirm like this is so cool like be able to see these video snippets um, they've put these together in a really uh, cinematic way and there's some great snippets here I think that people are gonna find really creative ways to use over the years with um, in terms of you know art and story and be able to create visual collages and use this to splice together with other videos to make really cool starfield content for many many years to come but i thought the the mech thing in particular is really cool but there's also you know we go in here there's concept uh, art for the worlds um and things of that nature really cool stuff here there's stuff for the characters um and and what different concepts have looked like over time we've got creature art Quick commercial break, everyone, to give a shout out to our first official guild officer, Bubblonia, as well as all of the guild champions, and of course, all of the members who help keep me on the air full time. To join as a member, simply click that join button below and pick your tier, but you can also support with super chats on any live stream or premiere, or super thanks on any upload or YouTube short. Don't forget the Discord. Let's get back to the video. Which is just such cool stuff. Spaceships, of course. Um, I love the NASA punk idea that they've got. Um, weapon design. Like, this is really cool stuff in here. Set dressing, which are like the little things that you see around that are just random things that don't necessarily have any purpose. They're just there to fill in. And, of course, um, some uh, promotional marketing art, the history of spaceflight, the art behind the scenes. So really cool stuff here. Um I think that uh, this is one of the coolest presentations I've seen in a while for a digital um, art book where it's got the soundtrack going the whole time and you can choose the tracks to listen to while you're going through the various things that you're looking into. Um, this alone for me was worth the extra, you know, 30 bucks or whatever I would have paid. I, I did have it with Game Pass, but had I gone out and purchased it, you know what I mean? Like, um, early access was nice and everything else, but this was also very well done. I feel like this alone was worth the extra cost um, that I paid from between like the base version up to the premium edition. Um, so it's a really cool book. If you haven't already dug into it yet, I would highly recommend taking a look. If you're somebody who bought the premium edition and just was like, I'm just going to let this sit there. I'm never actually going to look at it. You should totally look at it. Um, I spent like two hours in this thing last night and still haven't seen the end of it. So it's definitely something you can sink your teeth into. And I think that long term, I'm definitely going to use these in ways that I can um, to creatively come up with some more Starfield lore videos and stuff to use as additional you know, background material, B-roll footage, so to speak, and things for the videos I'm producing. So, um, really cool stuff here. Um, I love everything that they've done. So, shout out to the development team. Shout out to the um, to everybody who worked on this game. Um, it's been a lot of fun for me. Love to hear your thoughts on the game and the art so far. Hopefully, you're having fun. Drop them down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. 
daily streams at 11 a.m. Central Time. There's a Discord. Links are down below. And, of course, don't forget to check out the other videos if you're a member of the channel. Until next time, everybody, stay safe and happy flying.